Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to give you a very warm welcome back to what is episode 2 of Civilization Effect 3. We should be able to get more done this episode because now I've gotten pretty much the my home island set up now and I don't shouldn't have to explain any I don't think I've got any more mods or things I need to explain. So we're just setting up a whole load of cargo ships to try and exchange all the food that we need between our cities. Get yourself patched up. So there are the Reapers. There's Dark Space, their capital. There's the first cycle and they have another city because we started with three. They set up... Garrus, why did you only... Why did you set up both of your other cities on... Whoa! What the... Damn it! There's one thing I need to remember is that they can stop these trade routes. And we know that Cerberus is over there. I want to try and follow the story of the game somewhat by eliminating Cerberus first. <laughs> Gauss is locked in a war of attrition with one unit of Reaper infantry. Christ. Well, they should be dead next turn. Just because I picked Autocracy, they now regard me as Admiral Hackett the Terrible. <laughs> We want mines. We're purely concerned with production. Mars hasn't received any food as of yet, so... You know what? Send some extra. So, they... Ooh, they're all growing at very good rates now. Choose production. I want to set up a... Destroyer. To try and stop those damn Reaper submarine patrols. Now I get an army because you're going. I'm not. I'm actually not going to bother building an observatory because we won't have to worry about science for long. Once we, you know, just get all these techs out of the way. Because I've downloaded a couple more of these because there's one that restricts progress past the classical era. It rearranges some of the technology and add some new ones so you get all the things such as diplomacy, trading posts, the ability to produce gold and science and then it stops here with um, similar with the medieval and the medieval earlier as well it changed future tech to another technology that essentially does the same thing as future tech it just endlessly researches the points oh no the Reapers are bombarding us. How about we pretend all this is space? You know? So, you're going to be uh, you used against. Ooh. Submarine. Where is it? There it is! I want you to kill it. Kill it. Once again, due to this new mic, I'm trying to refrain from talking or shouting or raising my voice in any way. Since it tends to not like that. The Atomic onion. Theory. We're researching the same text. So Ooh, don't you? He did it. He did it. DESTROY THEM! Ouch. Setting up railroads between our cities would help since this is all forest and hill. But I also want you to work this stone to help give Mars a bit of extra production. Uh, no, don't want that. The real point of doing it, I just want an extra level 2 tenant. Who's research? I want. What do we want? What I really, really want, I want. Penicillin will get me N7s. They're the Alliance Unique Infantry. The replacements for Marines, they are ranged infantry that require aluminum, 
They ignore the terrain movement drawbacks and can attack or move after attacking. But they suffer a penalty when attacking cities. But I want radar to improve our aircraft. Because if they start spamming aircraft again, we're going to need some way of defending that. Or defending again. I knew it! Oh, he bleeding healed. Damn Reaper submarines. Sorry for extra production. I can only build roads. We've got on everything here apart from the deer, so go to Earth and start setting up a railroad to Luna. Let's view Earth, stop the Manhattan Project. We can probably build it quicker than Dan Garrus. We've actually got a hell of a lot of gold now, probably because I lost all my infantry. Still, that's good. Do what I always do, build up my economy, and then commit everything into a huge offensive with massively powerful units. Hello, hello, hello. Whoa. Luna, why can't you shoot that? Eisenbar Kingdom Brunel. Hmm. Loot Earth will be Earth has built the ironwork, so Luna could do with a bit of extra production. Oh, here we go. Get it. They're trying to disrupt our trade routes. Oh, shut up, whatever. Next turn. The enemy has been spotted everywhere. Arrgh! Stop plundering my trade routes! I sincerely apologise if that caused the mic to cut out again. And Luna's starving now because they won't stop blowing up my trade routes. We need to set up a patrol of destroyers. Or submarines, actually. Get some lumber camps going on in this forest and then work the oil. Some nice farms there. Is that just a colony of no. what? What is Cerberus doing with a great musician? Tourism has no use, there's domination victory only. There we go, we've got the Manhattan Project. Oh, and Cerberus and the Reapers aren't allied. Because I know Cerberus was support, was, you know, an enemy of the Alliance, but they're not the um, ally, they not allied with the Reapers, they were. Well, the Reapers have no allies, apart from the Geth in ME1, but then they didn't really consider them allies. Get a submarine. You, you are working now, aren't you? Yeah, plenty of production. Get some more. On, you know, just build one of those, actually. So you've just built one, so get a submarine. Have some very high level submarines with extra wolf pack bonuses to maximize their attack. But what the heck? What are you doing? I saw that submarine. I saw it hiding there, waiting for more trade routes to plunder. Ooh. I did place a couple of test games to try and determine the hello. The ideal setting for or map to play this game on, since I wanted one that would, you know, work well with the ME. Because I wanted a water-based map because you can 
pretend that all these are literally spaceships fighting in space, but just use your imagination. But of course, maybe a bit of land combat since the AI is not the best at water combat and... Oh, oh, Garrus is always getting his bleeding workers in my way. So I decided large islands, maybe a bit of land combat, with an, but with an emphasis on water combat, because I find that Harbinger is proof. <laughs> right, Garrus, get out of the way. You're making me waste time here. Where are those submarines? Where are they? Pillaging my trade routes. We are going to crank out battleships eventually. Hello. Now we can build bigger planes. Or better planes. Are those mine? Oh, Reaper Capital. Since the Reapers started with three settlers, that's mine. They have started with three capital ships. Is that capital landlocked? If so, we're going to need land units. Although we did take off station with Shepherd and a lap group of land units so that does make sense and you guys are pretty much dead so haha <laughs> pillage the mine then die <laughs> start working your way towards that oil Mars where is that damn sub guess there wasn't one this. <laughs> Foolish Cerberus infantry. Need more production. Like lumber mills. Stop trolling around. I want these submarines patrolling our cities. Oh, they already built one. Cargo ship go towards... Luna. What do you mean minor victory? Bonus outside friendly lands and it doesn't gain any... Reaper Destroyer? Oh, capital ship. Does they start with one capital ship and then everything else they build is a destroyer? Maybe. I don't know. Oh boy. Oculus? They've got four unique units, including husks, which replace all of their regular infantry, from warriors to regular gun infantry. Very cheap to produce. And I'm assuming somewhat effective in melee combat. Nuclear fission for atomic bombs, eh? Uh, do -do, penicillin or combined arms. We could do with some anti-tank guns, so go with combined arms. Huh? I did. I don't want them spamming stealth bombers because stealth bombers with their evasion rating are very off. Very hard to stop. Hello, hello, hello. What do you think you're doing? Kill them. Extra production. <laughs> uh, do nothing this turn because you'll get plundered in. What are you doing? Dying. That's what. Foolish Cerberus infantry. That'll get you plundered as well. But well, it won't reach that ship instantly. It stop, stop, stop. Oh good. Finish it. Excellent. Submarine patrols are doing just fine. Start sending each other food. Grow our glorious cities. 
We've got plenty of production and a good amount of food. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's right there. And now there's two cargo ships in an X marks the spot. This is where our cargo ship met its demise. Uh, what next? I suppose we should start building up some form of form of a navy. Get battleships, we've got plenty of oil to spare, thanks to our third alternative bonus. You need a little bit of extra but oh build a stock exchange as well. Build a stock exchange as well, because once we start Ah, my neck. Once we start cranking out those battleships, our gold is going to take a bit of a hit. <laughs> right. I want you guys to start trolling the oceans or the space around our cities. We're going to set these guys over to Cerberus to have a look see what might be going on. Range. Go out there and find out what's happening. Bombardment, bombardment. I suppose Sentry would also be good for one battleship. So it can serve as a spotter. And you know what? Also, build a destroyer. And then. Can you build any more buildings? We will give a, a little bit of extra production, so every little bit helps. Are those mine? Yes, they are. They've been destroyed. <laughs> Damn you, Reaper submarines! Without the information error, we can't build missile cruisers, but I'll live without them. down. You can be a coastal raider. Whoop. Wonderful. Choose production. What can you build? You can't really build anymore. You know what? Just build it anyway. There's nothing wrong with being able to, you know, get some more Ah, uh, hello. There's nothing wrong with being able to get some more social policies a little bit quick. Oh, those aren't there. Garris, your submarine has just gotten blown up. Come on, Garris. Oh, you shouldn't really bother with that much of a land army. Why are you? Why do you have great musicians? Oh, excellent. Terrian submarine on a scouting quest, I see. Now you can start working that oil. So that's three oil, that's going to give us six with third alternative. Ooh. Is Garrus already started with that, or was that just those workers? Get moving. Destroyer. Destroyers also provide a bit of air coverage, so that's good. I suppose the heroic hair pick would actually be good in the capital as well. A bit of extra experience. No, not experience, just a bit of extra combat strength. Aqueduct also, maybe. Walls as well, actually. I need to build walls. I don't want any sneak attacks hitting, the, hitting our cities. So you can... Damn it, Garris, you're filling this area with all your damn units. Who's going to nab that coal? Nobody. Well then, Luna. You can start building factories with this. A bit of extra production for whoever gets to work it. So, when they say... We have almost reached the 20 minute mark again, so as the turns continue to process, I would like to thank each and every one of you who have tuned in to watch this.
I sincerely hope that you're enjoying. Hello. I sincerely hope that you're enjoying Civilization Effect 3 so far. And I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Fare thee well.